I want to ask you a personal question, Mr. Albert. You've known our Prime Minister, Mr. Modi, rather intimately over the last 10 years, and you have described him as a transformative leader. Uh, so when you, you've been a Prime Minister yourself, you're a global statesman. Uh, so what do you think makes him a transformative leader? How is he different from other global leaders that you interact with? Well, there's two, there's probably three things, I suppose, about Prime Minister Modi. One, extremely unusual. One, unusual in an Indian context. Uh, and one, I would say, necessary for any effective leadership. The extremely unusual thing about Prime Minister Modi is that as a young man, he was sufficiently spiritually minded to spend uh, at least a year as a virtual monk in the Himalayas. Now, uh, as someone who spent three years in a seminary myself uh, before realising that I was a square peg in a round hole, uh, I appreciate someone who um, gets that the world is not just the here and now. Uh, it's not just uh, all about money and materialism. Uh, and I think that adds a dimension to Prime Minister Modi which is rare and that people can sense. And I think uh, the inspirational quality that he, that he brings uh, ties back to that. The other thing about Prime Minister Modi is that uh, he is in no sense an establishment figure. Um, he doesn't come from an established business or political dynasty. Uh, and uh, at least in the early days, he had no links with any such things. And given that for a long time, India was dominated by the Congress, which tended to be very much the establishment, uh, I think in that sense, Prime Minister Modi has been a people's voice uh, in a way that a lot of national politicians haven't always been. The third thing is that uh, he's had an agenda. Uh, he, he has wanted India to be uh, less of a bystander and more of an actor on the global stage. Uh, he has wanted the Indian economy to be more efficient. He has wanted the ordinary lives of Indians to be better. I mean, the drive to electrify uh, the couple of hundred million uh, uh, Indians to electrify the lives of the couple of hundred million Indians who had no access uh, to reliable power. They're transformative, completely transformative. I mean, the drive to extend proper sanitation to hundreds of millions of people. I mean, I can remember <laughs> what India was like 40 years ago in terms of, of, of sanitation. Um, and, OK, uh, it's not a big deal geopolitically, but by God, it makes a difference. Um, so, so I think he's had a, he's had a very strong domestic agenda: um, help people's lives in practical ways, strengthen the country in practical ways through, ways through infrastructure and so on, and as best you can, given the fact that you uh, can't push the envelope too far try to liberalise and reform the economy. Right.